Hello everybody and welcome to another BC Vision tutorial. My name is David and today I will be fixing the focus on the Kodak PixPro SP364K. Before I begin, let me give you a quick insight about this camera. When I first started, I would use different types of virtual reality cameras. Um, most notably, it would be a small China camera uh, that I started using in a unibody model. Uh, but before that, I would always use a custom rig that would allow me to take either with a DSLR or regular um, point and shoot camera. And I would have to take individual photos of every single angle until I was able to get the photo. That was of course very time consuming so getting one of these new cameras was truly just uh, time saving uh, for, for real estate. Of course uh, with a DSLR uh, the quality was way superior so getting uh, the SP360 felt a little bit like a downgrade but that was something that I was willing to sacrifice on some clients as well uh, for the speed that it would take of delivering the project. But one problem that sometimes occurs is that the focus on the lens will just crap out. And what can you do about it? Well, um, I tried taking it to Kodak, but um, it was already out of warranty and they wanted an exorbitant amount if the camera could not be fixed. Uh, and uh, when I took it to a local camera shop, well, basically they said, uh, yes, I can fix it and it's going to cost such and such. Um, so while hearing those things, I was like, oh, okay, so if a local shop can fix it, let me see if I can fix it. Considering the camera was already out of warranty and I already had additional cameras, I figured, you know what, it's worth the risk. So the first time I encountered a problem with the focus was actually with the Panoview little uh, China camera right over here. And uh, the problem with this camera, as you would imagine, was basically uh, one of the lenses uh, was shooting uh, off focus. Um, so one of the cameras was fine and the other one was blurry and uh, that happens all the time and with these uh, it's pretty much the same thing uh, if it bangs or there's a lot of uh, whatever uh, tinkering with the camera one of the lenses will basically uh, move out of focus and you will be left out without being able to uh, get a good VR fortunately this is a very easy fix uh, when I first uh, tried it, I tried it on this camera, which uh, might seem a little bit more complicated to open up, but it just has two screws. Remove this, take out the camera body itself, and just tinker with the defective lens. So that was very easy. But on this one, it is just a matter of removing the battery and lifting the body so you're gonna have access to fixing the lens. So let me show you how to do this. This method will apply to similar action cameras as well. There are four screws at the front for the controllers. The screws that we need to move are the four inside the battery compartment. We will use our precision screwdriver set to remove these screws on your camera. Make sure you remove the battery first. Don't forget to remove the micro SD card from the slot. Failure to do so could potentially damage your camera or your micro SD storage card. So please remove any storage and cables that may be attached to the camera before proceeding. The four front screws uh, are optional, 
uh, and you will need a Torx 5 screwdriver tip. Once you take the front uh, buttons cover out, you can use this time to clean it. Then just slip out the uh, cover and that's it, you have full access to the camera lens. Now this part is optional and you can start removing the controller board so you have better access to the actual lens. Uh, just be careful not to damage the ribbon cable as doing so could potentially kill your camera, so be careful. See those rubber grommets? That's what we need to remove. But first we have to take these four screws so we can separate the body from the lens. This part is optional. This screw holds the ground to the camera, so be extra careful not to rip it. Once all screws are out, it's just as easy as separating the plaques. Just be careful again with not ripping any ribbon cables and not damaging the lens itself. As you can see, this is the optical chip and this is what reads whatever your lens is seeing. This is the body and this is the lens. These rubber grommets that are surrounding the lens are what we need to remove. I suggest getting a soft surface so you don't damage the lens. And using your needle nose pliers, uh, just remove the little grommets that are uh, holding the lens together. You will be needing these when you reassemble the camera, so be extra careful. Once the rubber stoppers are out, notice how easily it rotates. If you lost the grommets, you can just use uh, anything just to get it back together. Now you have to put the camera back together, so be extra careful not to damage any ribbon cables. If you didn't separate it, then you're fine. Now that the camera is back together, uh, we are going to connect it to the computer or any other video source so we can check it. But don't forget to put the battery first uh, so you can power it on. I'm going to record from this camera and the PixPro will be connected to the computer so I can show you how I'm fixing the focus. Okay, so the camera is connected via USB to the computer, so I can use it as a webcam. And uh, as you can see, now we're getting a sharp, clear picture. And if we rotate it the opposite way, we're going to get it blurry again. Again, focus. That looks about right. And that's all there is to it, really. And there you have it friends, uh, that's how easy it was to fix the focus on this camera. And yeah, after fixing the lens, as you can see, it's as good as new, uh, maybe even better. Uh, and if you have a camera that is already out of warranty and has a little bit of a focus problem, don't just throw it away, you can definitely fix it. And if you just want to sell it afterwards, uh, you can just fix it and sell it and still make a profit. So, so that's a good way of actually taking care of this camera before getting rid of it. But there are several different ways you can use these old uh, PixPro cameras or any other action camera. Uh, in particular, the PixPros themselves, I use them for video conferencing, especially whenever I have a large group. So that way we can all be in the shot. Uh, another 
purpose that I've used it is for presentations. And even on this video tutorial, uh, I am using this camera um, and it's a nice little camera. But for today's standards and quality, it's pretty outdated. So don't expect too much out of it. If you are going to invest in one, just go ahead and get an, one of the newer models, uh, one of the newer cameras. Avoid completely the SP360 Orbit. That one is really, really bad all around. If you want to get something cheap and outdated, go for the Fusion. At least that one shoots raw. But there are other options uh, in the VR world that you can get very good cameras. I'm not too much of a fan of the uh, GoPro Max. Uh, so I will wait for the next model before upgrading to a newer GoPro VR camera. Uh, but I am observing uh, other cameras uh, that I think are definitely worth getting. But that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And any comments and feedback really, really help. Uh, and I pretty much appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video.